My name is Roland Crump, and I started with the Disney organization in 1952. Well, I had a couple of assignments from Walt when I was working at WED. Well, to begin with, it was scary, you know, because I sat in meetings with Walt for two years before I opened my mouth because I wanted to learn how everybody reacted to him and all the people that I worked with. So once I started interfacing with him, I found out he was just a sweetheart, a gentleman, and always a delight to work with. He treated you just like anybody else. He, he was just a regular guy, and he just wanted you to feel like you were a regular guy. He took Yale, Gracie, and I and put us in a big room on the second floor and said, I want you guys to work on the haunted mansion. And we looked at each other like, I mean, what are we gonna talk about? A mansion is a spooky house. And we said, okay, fine. So Yale and I started talking about different illusions and different things that we put in the mansion. And we would go see all the spooky movies that were coming out and everything. Walt just wanted us to absorb what it was like to do a haunted mansion and everything that might go in there. I started developing all this weird stuff and Dick Irvine thought it was too weird. Nobody liked my weird stuff. Well, I came to work the next morning at seven o'clock and Walt Disney sitting in my chair at my desk. And I said, good morning. And he says, good morning, really. And he says, I just want to tell you, he says, I didn't get an ounce of sleep last night because of all that weird stuff you showed me. He says, I know what we're going to do. And I said, you do? And he says, yeah, we're going to do a museum of the weird. And I said, oh, that's a great idea. Let's go with that. Well, I think the most important thing is the illusions. Yale Gracie was a crazy guy with crazy ideas with illusions. His illusions is what makes the haunted mansion the haunted mansion. So if you stop and think about taking everything out of there that he did, you'd realize that, that he really was the hero of the haunted mansion. Because, you know, he did all the ghosts in the ballroom. He did the Leota in the ball. He did the guy playing the organ. So Harry Yale was able to take something that was a great idea and make it 10 times better. Years later, after the mansion was going, somebody said, you know that wallpaper in the hallway looks like you designed it, Rolling. And I said, I didn't have design any wallpaper. I did a lot of weird chandeliers in some of my sketches, but they took those sketches as weird chandeliers and turned them into wallpaper. <laughs> 